Hi everyone, this is Ming Yao from Ozen Engineering. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a simulation with a, uh, a coding or a film. Let's start with a basic static structural analysis. Oftentimes, uh, companies ask me about how to model films of thin coatings because for thin sheets of geometry, sometimes having thin coating can greatly affect the, can introduce a residual stress, which causes deformation on thin features like glass plates or very thin films. So then it's this discovery modeling. We're going to create a thin piece of geometry. Let's make it uh, 80 by 30. And we'll create a fairly high aspect ratio part of just one millimeter in thickness. And if we want to add a film, I do control C, control V to create a, a surface on top of the solid. We can put this into a, a single component. And we can turn on shared topology. So shared topology will ensure that the surface and the solid is meshed with a conformal mesh. And that means we can treat this, the shell or the surface as a coating. Okay, here's our model. We want to go ahead and set the properties of all of these parts. So I'm going to uh, look for some plastics for my solid. Which if I go down here, you can see there's various types of ABS, HDP, PE, and poly amides. So let's go ahead with a ABS plastic here. And let's say we'll do, we're going to do a, a 10 micron uh, layer of uh, copper. Here we go, we'll go for a basic copper alloy here. So you can see there are no connections between the parts because they are going to be connected node by node. Um, slightly darker gray for the copper, slightly darker gray for the plastic and this bluish gray for the copper. We can also display uh, the node numbers. You can see that the node, each node in the corner has just a single number. So these are sharing the nodes between the parts. Turn that off. Now we want probably three level, three layers of thickness of elements in the copper. So I'm going to put in a method here. Go for a sweep method. And uh, we'll do uh, three layers to the thickness. Okay. Now we have a, a model here. I'm going to turn on weak spring, which will tend to hold the part in place. Select the, the blue section, and I'm going to put a temperature on there. This will allow me to specify a pre-stress of the part. So if initially, let's say this is 100 degrees and we cool it down, the, let's say a delta temperature change of minus 100 degrees, this will tend to contract, contract. that'll pull the rest of the part upwards. So we should have a smiling shape here. The benefit of this method is we can make the surfaces as thin as we like. Uh, right now it's just a tenth of a micron, but you can, uh, I mean 10, 10 microns, but you can make it a nanometer if you'd like here. Uh, let's look at the total deformation. All right, so it's behaving the way we'd expect the, with the, uh, the top surface contracting, pulling it downwards. We can also look at the stresses on the film if we wish. And the strain. 
describe the way these results. Okay, so that's the top and bottom stress distribution and elastic strain. So they're very similar. The, because this we can assign material properties to the surface, you can see there's stiffness options for membrane only, membrane bending, or stress evaluation only for that shell. Um, we can also make it nonlinear if we wish. So that's a, a simple model here. Let's say we get rid of this part and uh, we make, let's say, a curved surface. So let's say we do something like this. I think I want to uh, cut this a couple times. and trim create corner do trim away here so get rid of these things to do an offset here. So rather than having a straight piece, I'm going to show you how we can do the same model but with a curved piece section. Okay, so if we hit the P button to pull, we're going to revolve this around this one and we're going to just have it go around the whole circle. So now rather than a, than a flat piece we have a dome so let's see what happens when we have a dome and I'm going to copy paste it. We have a surface here on top of our dome and this time I'm going to make the whole uh, analysis whole assembly with shared topology. So I'm going to update my model Okay, so it's just telling me, hey, there's all these, these things that need to be changed, so let's go ahead and fix the changes. So that's the sweet body. Okay. Um, say 100 microns, we're going to do copper and ABS again. Go ahead and generate the mesh. So maybe we do uh, instead of sweep automatic, we'll do a thin automatic thin. See if this does a better job of meshing it. Okay, so it's got the surface as well as a solid mesh on the inside. We're going to select our orange color surface here and solve the simulation. So you can see the way that this, uh, let's get rid of our edges here. You can see that the way this particular s film surface causes the plastic to deform. We can look at the stress. This is stress on all the body, so I can reduce that to just the stress on the surface itself, as well as the stress on the solid. Okay, 
So that's the stress on the surface and the solid. Uh, we can export this deformed shape as an STL for, file for uh, further processing if needed. So that's a quick example of how we set up a film stress simulation, pretending that if you either painted or coated a solid with a very thin layer of another material, how do we model the deformation when that, that thin layer has a significant amount of residual stress. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at ozinc.com. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.